for Karnataka and specifically for Chief Minister Siddaramaiah, it's the Muda scam that's becoming more of a trouble and a headache to really be able to handle right now. Uh, looks like there is another revelation, more skeletons tumbling out of the Muda scam skeleton at the closet. The, uh, and alleging here is uh, more details that come in that a Muda officer paid the stamp duty for the property. On whose complaint the Lokayukta police has registered a case against Siddaramaiah, one of uh, the whistleblowers have alleged that Muda's special tehsildar paid the stamp duty for the property of Siddharamaya's wife. Eventually, remember the wife had said, ready to return all the property because nothing is bigger than my husband's honour. India Today's editor Nagarjun Dwarkanath joining me for the latest on that. Uh, Nagarjun, good morning. I bring you in here. Why is this controversial? Help us understand the allegation against the tehsildar. Usually in the registration, uh, Puja, the applicant files the challan and pays the bill for the challan. Uh, however small or big the amount would be, usually the application, the applicant themselves buys the challan and pays for the registration. Here what we see, uh, as per the RTI uh, activist Nehemi Krishna was fighting the Muda case against the chief minister, he has shared certain documents on his Facebook profile that uh, special tasildar of Muda had paid the 500 rupee chalan during the registration of the 14th site. Uh, this is the allegation coming through. We'll have to hear what the CM has to say about this and also the authenticity of these documents as well. But however, the RTI activist alleges that, uh, do we need more evidence that the CM has put in pressure mm -hmm. to acquire sites back in 2022? Uh, what feels fishy is the applicants usually pays the chalan fees, but in this case, as per the documents, revealed by the RTI activists. That, that's is definitely unprecedented, Nagarjun, to have the Tessildar do a stamp duty for somebody else. Nagarjun, you uh, did an interview uh, and spoke exclusively with the Chief Minister. He's denying all the charges, but is denial really being accepted? Because if more and more documents are going to come forth, the denial will become a problem too. Well, that is true. He says that this is all politically motivated, that I was not in power when the sites came to me. It was the BJP government who allotted the sites to me. In fact, when I posed this question about Muda yesterday, he questioned the uh, he questioned me back saying, you tell me what is the fault that I did. When I told him about the 14 sites, he, he clearly said, how is this money laundering? How is this a crime? Because I didn't ask for this. It was a compensatory land given by the Muda themselves. So where is the crime? This is all politically managed is what Chief Minister said. All right, uh, keep tracking all the latest on that. Nagarjun, I want to now play out that uh, exclusive conversation that you had with the Chief Minister, especially. Let's listen in to what he had said about the Muda scam heat. He's denying it completely, but here's what he specifically had to say.